Everybody sing with me. No limitations in the spirit. There are no limitations in the glory realm on high five. High five. High five. High five. High five. High five. That's, a little, high five. that's a little song that our friend Joshua Mills wrote. Very good And he's good probably song. sad that he wrote it now that he heard me do it. Just so no, he But we do it in church it. all the time. We do this song, No Limitations in the Spirit. That's Amen. right. Um, I want to bring a definition of limitations. It means to the act of controlling the size of something or something in someone else's life. Now, for children, sometimes as parents, you have to set some limitations for them. But if you crush their imagination or if you crush their ability to see themselves beyond who they are at the moment, then you're limiting them. And we have a God a father who does not limit us. Anything that belongs to him, he's made available to us. God was always trying to expand the disciples' limitations mm -hmm. to see the vastness. There was a time where Jesus had multiplied the loaves of the yes. fish in front of the disciples and they collected so many leftovers. The next time they're in the same situation, he turns to Philip and he says, Hey, Philip, what are we going to do here? Knowing that Philip's going to say, Let's do it again, Jesus. But he said, all we have is this little <laughs> fish and a loaf of bread. Let's send everyone away so that they can go away and we won't be hungry. Yes. All he could see is the limit of his circumstances of what he had. But Jesus wanted him to see that there's no limit with God, that everybody could be fed and there would be leftovers. Amen. God is, he is so big. He is so powerful. Yes. He said, with me, nothing is impossible that's right Amen. and we have we have impossibilities in our lives everywhere we look Indeed. with our with, with our carnal thinking with 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 our past experience but god says with him nothing is impossible that means anything is possible you know in 2 corinthians 6 verse 11 through 13 paul is writing to the corinthian church and he tells them We've given our whole hearts to you. Everything we are, we've made available to you. And he tells the church in Corinthian, Corinthia or whatever. Corinth. 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 Thank you. That Thank place. You. That place. Those guys. He tells them that the only thing that limits them now is what they believe in their own heart. Right. Sure. So what you believe in your heart can be a place of limitation for you unless you get to see things from how God sees them. And th doesn't that remind you when you talk about the limitations, like when they were entering into Canaan land, what was the limitations of the people? The, their report. Their report was, we see ourselves as grasshoppers. Absolutely. And when they saw themselves limited, they were limited. They were limited. In John chapter 16, verse 24, Jesus' words, he said, ask the Father anything in my name, anything. And he says, and keep on asking him. Because you will receive what you ask for because God wants our joy to be unlimited. Yes. So the basic thing here is, is that if you believe you can, you can. Amen. And if you believe you can't, you can't. So you're right either way, depending on what you believe. So what are you going to believe for Amen. today? What are you going to, what situations are you going to take, to take and morph into something better, something yes. that you really want? Uh, what, what are the possibilities in your life today? You know, the Bible, it is full of hope. It is full of revelation from God. Yes. And people get real down in their circumstances and they say, well, all I have left is a hope and a prayer. Good, because as long as you still have hope, you can pray, and prayer is being in agreement with God. God is in, in agreement with your limitations, your bad circumstances. God is in agreement with what Jesus has already done for us. We can start having the heavenly possibilities, yes. whatever it is. God has huge dreams for you. You and I need to have huge dreams for ourselves Amen. that God has for us. Amen. You know, I was thinking that uh, the disciples after they got to know Jesus and after they received the Holy Spirit, the Word of God tells us that they turned the whole world upside down. Wow, just a few of them. Just a few of them. They had a different impression of themselves until the Holy Spirit came upon them. But once they received the Holy Spirit and were filled with His power, they were changed people and they went forth and they did great things in the name of God. Nothing is limiting you. The power of the Holy Spirit is still alive, active, and viable in your lives today. Don't let yourself be talked out of your destiny. You've used that word power several times uh, here just in the last few seconds. 
power. Not your power, but his power. Amen. Power available to you. Power that you can take and, and, and change things and rearrange things. Yes. And, and I'm not talking about crazy things. I'm not talking about <laughs> five Ferraris in your driveway or anything. One Ferrari is plenty. All but, right. But what I'm talking about is good relationships, good days, uh, ways you can you can bless people at your job bless people at, at your home bless yes. people on your block be changing this world in the image of jesus christ himself that's Amen. right and don't you see yourself limited to this 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 and this they change the whole world the whole yes. world we're called to do the same thing god bless you high five high five high five high five high five, high five. High five. High five. High five. High five. High five.